So guys, before the Amir Khan Terence Crawford fight, uh, Amir Khan was giving an interview about the Thurman and Pacquiao fight, and he said that he believes Manny Pacquiao knocks out uh, Keith Thurman. He he believes that you know it's a fifty fifty fight, but he goes uh, Thurman didn't look good in his last fight. Thurman did not look good in his last fight, and he feels that Manny Pacquiao looked good against Broner, and Th Pacquiao will knock out uh, Keith Thurman. Now, I've said this as well. I think Pacquiao knocks out Keith Thurman. I, I, think, I think Keith Thurman, in my opinion, is probably past his best a little bit. We've got to see a lot more, but Lopez was a decent level of opponent that he faced, and he really, really struggled. Let's not forget, he was lucky to come out of that seventh round. Many people thought the fight could have been stopped in that seventh round. And really, the Keith Thurman of old, you would probably think he'd wipe the floor with Lopez. You know, you'd probably say Guerrero's probably better than uh, Lopez. And look what Keith Thurman did to Guerrero. You know, so like I said, I do feel... Lopez came to fight, don't get me wrong. I just feel Thurman was... That Thurman wasn't the fighter he was. Now, let's see how he moves moving forward. But the problem is, you're fighting Manny Pacquiao. So you, there's no you know, room for manoeuvre. Yeah, you may feel that he's old, Pacquiao's old, but... At the end of the day, if you you know if you're the same fighter you were against Lopez, you know you're getting stopped. It's as simple as that because Pacquiao is very very vicious. He, he's also very very good, fast speed. He moves around, you know. And Thurman could have his work cut out in that fight if he fights the way I I I I've got. If he fights, if he doesn't improve on that performance against Lopez, which we don't know, that might just be Keith Thurman right now. He, that might just be where he is in his career. You know, after that two year layoff, I told you guys. You know, after he had that uh, injury and he took two years off, that you know when you have injuries, right? Footballers break their leg and they're back in action after a year. But sometimes they're never the same. This guy's had two years off. So how severe was his injuries for him to be out for two years? And he was out because of injury. Yeah, he took a little time off after the Garcia, but the reason why he took such a time off is because he was injured. When you take that kind of time off, right it's because you're you're suffering a severe injury a, a career threatening injury when it's a career threatening injury right you're coming back and you don't know whether you're going to be the same man and in Keith Thurman's case I don't think he is I think I think that that right arm of his because it was his right elbow right and he punches hard with that right hand and whenever he punches right it's going to hurt him it's going to hurt him because, like I said, it was a career-threatening injury. It wasn't an injury where, you know, he, he fought and, you know, it was, a, it was a little minor injury where he could shrug it off and come back. This is a career-threatening. When it's out for that long, you know, he was suffering severe and a severe injury. Most fighters, when they suffer that kind of injury, are never the same. You know, I know David Hayes suffered a shoulder injury. He was never the same after that. You know, when you suffer an injury that like, like is severe... At top elite level, you will get found out because your body is not as strong as it used to be. There's many fighters that suffered, you know, Amir Khan said that he suffered a hand injury, which kept him out for a while. Yeah, but it wasn't just that. He had other issues, but, and he came back and he didn't look the same. Yeah, in his first fight against La Greco, he looked all right, but, you know, his arm was hurting. When you fight at the top, top level, those injuries re resurface because, your body's not as strong as what it was before the injury. It's as simple as that. That's just how it is. And, you know, same with a footballer. I've known many footballers that have come back from career-threatening injuries. Some, are, some manage to overcome it, but most don't. And most don't from severe injuries don't overcome it. And they end, up, they, they end up not being the same player or the same fighter. It's just what it is. And we hope in Keith Thurman's case it is that he is able to overcome it because Keith Thurman's a serious player in the welterweight division. And I would love to see... You know, Thurman continued to ride his ride at the top, but before he before he was out of the you know before he was he went missing for so long, you'd probably say Keith Thurman was the best welterweight in the world. Keith Thurman was a man in the welterweight division. Unfortunately, with that long layoff, you know Thurman's gone down the pecking order again. You know, and we don't even know whether now he'll beat a Pacquiao, which I, I think, like I said, I I I in my opinion favour Manny Pacquiao very heavily in that fight. I don't know why. I just think stylistically it's a, not a great fight for Thurman. And after watching Thurman against Lopez, 
I do feel that Pacquiao will stop him. I don't even think he'll beat him. I think he'll stop him, if I'm honest with you. But, you know, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. What do you guys make of Amir Khan saying that he feels that Manny Pacquiao knocks out Keith Thurman? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.